welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening your time thank you guys for your continued support please subscribe to this channel if you haven't and turn on the bell for more video welcome our new members to the old ones god bless you as you're supporting us in this channel may the lord support you in everything you lay your hands amen to the news in details guys in a short while you're going to be watching a video i want us to please kindly pay attention to the details in this video i want you to see why reverend father ag came back mm -hmm. went missing all of a sudden but thank god he is fine health and healthier guys then we come back for commentary please watch nigeria that if you say the truth you will be attacked we survive the attack of the crocodiles who want to eat the fishes in the fish pond because all those who are attacking the men of god they are crocodiles but god is ready for them i'm not discouraged i have been waiting for them to challenge any of the things i said what they call it in philosophy is the fallacy of ad hominem fallacy of mere argumentum ad hominem you allow the truth to be hidden then you started attacking the the person who said the truth you don't attack the messenger challenge the truth whether there is insecurity or not whether there are good hospitals in the country or not what are you talking about how God has loved us and saved us from Corona. And uh, our leader, some of our leaders are becoming the Corona we are suffering from. What are they talking about? Are we not hungry? Is there employment opportunity for the youth as ought to be? The money they are packing for the election, if they use it to build industries, shan't our youth have places to work? What are they talking about? And when they talk about giving for a back a contract, I don't want to talk about that because I was laughing. It's a laughable, childish accusation. Whoever is saying that is a, is a shame to himself and shame to the people he's representing. Why I had been silent, I was waiting for them to change. Until God said, speak. The Fadambaka who was speaking is not just a priest. But by the special grace of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Under the Holy Ghost anointing. is the job provider. Yes. To the glory of God, those that are benefiting from me every month, direct salary owners, are not less than 23,000 people. So, if I can be paying not less than 23,000 youths, giving them food, direct workers, I mean direct workers, not indirect. My packers and loaders, I pay them every two weeks. And I thank the governor for giving us the enabling environment. That's why you should be praying for Father Mbaka. Amen. That's why I was crying over Ugoyama. It's a dead trap for all of us who have investments there. My investments are evangelical investments. I don't do what I hide. I am helping the church through labor provision to win souls. So, the person who is challenging for the market, how many people are you feeding? So if I talk, you talk? Because the government is paying you. Do you know how many people I'm paying? So before you challenge me when I talk about unemployment, I am an 
an employer. Amen. So this is what I am praying that the leader should join me or encourage me. So somebody talking about giving for the back a contract. I started laughing. The three men he talked about, I'm not here to defend anybody's st stupid allegation. But God used that man to tell the world that Buhari's government is not giving me money. You see how God works. Sheikh, may God bless you for telling everybody that you are not giving me a contract. Okay, guys, thank you for still being here. Welcome back. I hope you watched and um, you paid attention to the video. It is simple. Father A.G.K. Mbaka went missing because he spoke up. Yes, he has whined and died with, and dined with them, pardon me, but he stood out and he told them to do the needful. Did you remember him telling Buhari that the insecurity in the nation is too much and that he's no longer capable, he should resign or either risk being impeached? Then Gao Bashel never took it easy because he's the uh, special advisor to the to the president and Galbache will accuse him of taking a contract and see if Adambaka came out to see how it all happened. It is easy, it is crystal clear that nobody should speak against the government. But not still with um, standing, it got more intense when he now blessed Inam Dakano and his um, words were, who is in Namdekano? I do not know him, but whoever he is, may the Lord bless him for what he's doing. That intensified it more. Guys, it is time we read the handwriting on the wall. And it was amazing that a lot of people came out and said, no, bring out for them back wherever you guys have kept him. And the government has seen that the people have woken up. They have seen the writing on the wall that the government does not mean well for them. And whoever opens their mouth to speak the truth are being taken. So that is the news for you guys. So please, at this junction, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Turn on the post notification bell. You get to know when we upload new video. We keep bringing it to us as it unfolds. And I will see you on my next video. I love you guys. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.